Greetings comrades, it is I, Miriam, the only Miriam, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or should I say, welcome to my channel. See what I did there? Yes, I am beyond excited to welcome you spectacular folk to my lovely yet lonely YouTube channel. As you all may have guessed by the title of this video and by the looks of my truly Armenian nose and eyebrows, I will be posting videos on here teaching the Armenian language. Now these kinds of videos would be perfect for, let's say, someone who grew up in an Armenian household but now doesn't remember too much of the language, or someone that knows the very basics but would like to have better conversational skills, or somebody that knows the language pretty well but has some rusty grammar, or is marrying into an Armenian family, or just for someone who just so happens to be a polygon. In addition, I will be posting videos on Armenian culture, customs, traditions, history, but also on other sorts of topics such as anthropology, linguistics, world history, travel, and so on. However, I may or may not fool around and upload some videos on arts and pop culture. Nevertheless, you all are certainly in for an absolute treat. Anyways, enough with all the shenanigans. Let's get to some language learning. So what I Mariami had. So, in this video, as the title suggests, we will be learning some basic expressions used when saying hello and saying goodbye, but also when giving self-introductions. Furthermore, in the next few videos, we will also be learning expressions used when giving apologies, when giving more of a self-introduction or meeting with people for the first time, and other sorts of polite expressions. Alright, it is now time to learn some expressions. As a fellow language learner, I suggest using a pen, paper, or pencil and a notebook to take notes while learning. Furthermore, I will be repeating each expression a few times to help with pronunciation and as a good memory refresher. Learn some expressions used for when greeting someone. Barev. Hello. Barev. Hello. Barev is the most simple, basic, yet formal way of greeting someone in the Armenian language. However, one can also use the expression Barev Dez. Hello to you, Barev Dez. This expression is used in more formal situations, but it quite literally means hello to Next, you. Next, we have Bari Galust. Bari Galust. Welcome, Bari Galust. Now, this expression is used as a way of welcoming people, but it is more specifically used in situations where someone is arriving somewhere for the very first time, and it's kind of how somebody would greet you in the airport when you arrive somewhere for the very first time. For example, if you happen to travel to Armenia for the first time ever, in the airport when you arrive, somebody might say to you, Bari Galust, welcome, Bari Galust. Lastly, we have Vorjuin. Greetings. Vorjuin. Now, this expression obviously means hello, but it is not as commonly used as but Furthermore, as you all could hear, we have the R sound in Vorjuin. As a small note, please make sure to stay tuned because I will certainly be making a video in the future on how to pronounce various sounds and letters in Armenian since we do happen to have the most phonetically diverse language. Next, we have various expressions that are used as greetings for specific times of the day. First of all, we have Bari Luis. Good morning, Bari Luis. Now, you may have noticed that I have used the word Bari a few times. Now, what could it mean? Bari means kind or good, just like how in various other Indo-European languages, bon, bien, all these different words mean good. However, you can also say Bari Aravot. Good morning. Bari Aravot. Aravot means morning in Armenian. Therefore, you can use that as a substitute for saying good morning. Next, one can also say Bari Or. Good day. Bari Or. As you may have already guessed, Or does mean day in Armenian. And this expression is commonly used as a way of saying good afternoon or good day. Lastly, you can also use the expression good evening. Bari Yereko, as a way of greeting someone during the evening or later in the day. Now let's learn how to introduce ourselves. Let's learn by example. 
If I wanted to say, my name is Mariam in Armenian, I would say, im anuna Mariame. Now let's break it down. Let's deconstruct this entire sentence. Im in Armenian means my. Anun in Armenian is name. So when you say im anuna, you say my name. Next, we have e eh at the end of the sentence. E eh means is in Armenian. So in Armenian, we don't say my name is Mariam. We say my name Mariam is. Im anuna Mariam e. Eh. Now let's say there was someone named Brian. He would say im anuna Brian e. Eh. As y'all may have noticed, the name is the third word in the sentence. The verb comes at the very end of the sentence and actually after the subject. You can also say im anunas blank e. Eh. Anunas means my name. The ending of the word changes. Now to ask someone, what is your name in Armenian? We can say ko anunan inche, ko anunan inche. Now in Armenian, once again, our sentence structure is a bit crazy. So when you say ko anunan inche in Armenian, you are actually saying your name what is. Ko anunan inche, what is your name? A shorter way of asking someone for their name in an informal situation is Anunatinche, what is your name? Now the formal version of what is your name in Armenian is Zir Anunan Inche. Zir Anunan Inche, what is your name? Also, please note that I will soon be releasing a video on formal versus informal language in Armenian and what's the difference because we really don't have this element in the English language. Lastly, let's learn some expressions used for saying goodbye. First of all, we have lavor unenak. Have a nice day. Lav or unenak. Let's break down this sentence. Lav means good or nice in Armenian. Or, as we established earlier, means day. Unenak is a way of saying may you have. This expression is a bit more formal, but you can say lavor unenak. Have a nice day to anyone. Next, we have bari gisher. Good night. Bari gisher. As we established earlier, bari means good or kind, and gisher means night. Gisher. Night. However, you can also say hajohuchun. Goodbye. Hajohuchun. Now you see hajohuchun quite literally means success. Hajohuchun. Success. However, it is commonly used as a way of saying goodbye to someone in Armenian and is also a way of wishing success upon someone else. And lastly, the most commonly used but also the most difficult phrase for saying goodbye in Armenian is Tsetesuchun. Goodbye. Or <laughs> goodbye. Tsetesuchun. Comrades, we have reached the end of this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe and share this with your Armenian learning or Armenian speaking friends. Thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video. Shachnor Kaluchun, you've got this